What's up with you guys? It's your boy West Coast. Yo, man, my boy Tony Romo got a record breaking deal to be an announcer. $17 million per year. It's probably going to be between a three to 10 year deal. And he's, he's basically the highest paid announcer ever in sports for CBS or anybody on TV. So salute to Romo for that. But hey, man, this video is for the, the players that are coming out and speaking against Romo getting his money, man. Hey, stop being a hypocrite because I'm going to tell you guys. Y'all that's speaking out against Romo don't understand. It's about supply and demand. My boy, Boss Cowboy, said a very famous statement. He said, man, you are worth as much as someone's worth willing to pay you. And if someone's willing to pay Tony Romo $7 million to call football and talk about football, then guess what? That is the market for Tony Romo. Obviously, that means that somebody out there was willing to pay Romo 16 hence the reason CBS had to pay him 17 Now, for all y'all people that say, oh, well, if Tony Romo wasn't, if it wasn't for the players... Tony Romo wouldn't even have no announcer. He wouldn't even have no announcer. You can't even be an announcer without no players. And you can't even think like that. Why? Because if that was the case, why do quarterbacks make more money than freaking centers? Uh, take the center off the field. How does a quarterback get the football? Okay. Why? We understand that, that what? That there are different markets for different positions and there's different markets for different things. If somebody is willing to pay Tony Romo $17 million, salute to Tony Romo for opening up a new market. Because guess what? At some point, there was some quarterback that was getting paid $18, $19, 20000000 million, and everybody looked at him like, oh, my God, why would you pay him $18, 20000000 million to be a quarterback? Guess what? Exact same example. So I'm sorry, Michael Thomas. Stop hating. I mean, it is what it is. You got your bread. Nobody tripping off you getting paid the highest. You're like the highest paid wide receiver in the NFL right now. And ain't nobody tripping. Ain't nobody tripping. You know what I'm saying? You got your paper. If you're going to be mad, be mad at his agent for taking advantage of a situation. And more importantly, taking advantage of supply and demand, which America is kind of what built on. Like, come on now, knock it off, man. Salute to Tony Romo for getting a bag, man. That's what y'all should be saying for creating a whole new lane. Why? Because more importantly, man, stop talking about other folks' money. Like, that's the crazy thing about it. Like, let's just keep it real. Like, if another player would have said, got a big old bag like that, got a big old thing of money like this, Russell Wilson gets this huge, ridiculous contract. No player comes out talking against him, talking about his money. But since Tony Romo is an announcer, we can we feel it's safe to come out and talk about another man's bag. Man, come on, bro. Who are y'all OGs? Who raised y'all, man? Knock that mess off. If you ain't got nothing positive to say about another man's paycheck, keep your mouth closed. It don't matter who it is. Because guess what? You may be in a situation where somebody may want to pay you to be the highest to see to, to do something that ain't someone ain't ever ever did before. And you for sure don't want nobody hating on you. Why? Because they ain't getting a bag like you. Man, y'all already know what it is. Never look down because the star's up.